Tea time with Trav. Over the weekend, I was invited to Megan Thee Stallion's Hottie Ween Halloween party, y'all. What's going on, y'all? It's A.O. Trav, and I'm back. I'm not A.O. Trav. I messed up. <laughs> it's Halloween. What's going on, y'all? It's Wolverine. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Y'all know Halloween is my favorite holiday, even though I don't know if it's considered a real holiday. But I'm letting y'all know I'm dying under this mask. It's killing me. So it's probably gonna come off at some point. These are gonna have to come off at some point too, because I'm gonna be digging into my food where I want to. But I'm gonna say grace. I mean, grace. Father God, I come to you today. I'm trying to mimic Wolverine voice, but I ain't never seen. X Men, so I don't know. Wait, is he X? I think he X. I don't know. Father God, I come here to ask for this food. Please, there be a nourishment to my body. Please don't let me um, don't let this mask cut off my circulation because it is a little tight. They said one size fit all, but they ain't seen my head yet. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Jesus. Okay. All right, we got us some snow crab and we got us some spicy noodles. They not the two times spike. Shoot. I can't do nothing with these gloves. Oh, damn. 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 This is going to be harder than I thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. How is y'all day going? Did y'all take y'all kids trick or treating? Trick or, tre trick or treating over the weekend? Cause I know usually when Halloween fall on a on a weekday, a lot of the like Christmas Christmas, I'm all over the place. A lot of the Halloween parties happen over the weekend. But like when I was a kid, we used to like if it fell on a Tuesday, we would do the parties over the weekend like the family halloween parties and whatnot but then on on the actual halloween day we would still go trick-or-treating but our parties was over the weekend y'all i'm trying i'm trying okay okay all right so we're gonna start off with our snow crab <laughs> we'll see how this work out. Come on, come on. These these claws is getting in my way. Not the snow claws, these. Wait, are they are those claws? Whatever the hell they are. Blades. Are they Oh my god. Mm. Did I get it out? I got it. Well, I feel like I ain't had snow crap in a minute. This mask is really cutting off my circulation, y'all. Oh, and let me tell y'all. So over the weekend, you guys, I was invited. Tea time with Trav. 
Well, let's start right there. We're going to get to the story, I promise. Over the weekend, I was invited to Megan Thee Stallion's Hottie Ween Halloween party, y'all. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all y'all already seen this costume. Because I did wear it to the party. But it was it was so fun. It was so fun. I'm going to tell y'all all about the night momentarily. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the party started. First off, let me say, Megan Thee Stallion is beautiful in person. Her body is bananas. And she was so nice. Like, she was dancing with all of us and, you know, having a conversation with us, taking pictures. Like, she didn't treat us like, this my party and y'all are blessed to be here type. She, she acted as if, you know, we belong there. And I like that. I like when these celebrities are personable and don't treat us like we're beneath them you know y'all know this I, I like people that's humble I don't like that overly cocky stuff But let's talk about the party itself. It was a Tim Burton thing. So, they had different horror films on display. When you first walk up, they had um, like the Adams family on display, right? And then as you walk down this maze, you you walk through this hallway, that's the entrance. You walk through the hallway and there were like different rooms. So if y'all seen Beetlejuice, y'all know what hallway I'm talking about. Remember when the ghost went to the, oh, when the ghost had went to the counselors to try to figure out how they could get these humans out of their house? It was like that. And then when you walk in the actual party, you see the, the big snake that Beetlejuice had turned into when he was trying to eat them alive. And you saw somebody dressed as Beetlejuice. That I that like that had made my day and I had just then walked in, y'all. I was like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And this is what I came to the Megan Stallion Halloween party for. Because I know she loves Halloween. She's going to do it big every year. So then you have... The waitresses, they're walking around serving hors d'oeuvres. And they're dressed similar to Wednesday. From, uh, from the Adams Family, or if y'all know Wednesday from, you know, the Netflix show. Same person, same character. So, and they're also walking around with pre-made drinks. Mixed cocktails. I grabbed me one of those because they gave me that before I even got into the party. So, I demolished that. Now I'll walk in. Of course, I want to get video after video after video. So I'm recording everything, right? I go to the bar first. Because the first thing I hear when I walk in, make sure you go to the bar and get your free drinks. Free drinks? Wait a minute. <laughs> and when I tell y'all, it was not no cheap liquor. 
Yo, it was Duce. Free, unlimited, Duce. What? What? Clearly, Megan Thee Stallion said, what budget? Because <laughs> I ain't got one of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, needless to say, I was drunk as hell. Not even gonna lie to y'all. Y'all know how I get. So now, I walk in. And mind y'all, so it's not, I didn't take any like, just straight do, uh, do say shots. They did have a pre uh, menu. They had three signature drinks. One of them was Black Widow. That one was really good. All of them had Duce. All of them were featuring Duce. Um, but that one was, it was a black drink, y'all. Even the, the sugar around the rim was black. I was like, ooh, like I feel like, I don't know. I feel important. <laughs> Like, I really felt like I was in, like, a horror museum. The other one, it was Hot Girl something. But I forgot the, the full name. And then the third one, I forgot what that one was, too. What? Well, Y'all know I tried all of them. Black Widow was actually probably my favorite. Um, And it was the cutest, too. So, now I'm walking around because now I want to see what the rest of everything else looks like. So, on the other side of the Beetlejuice worm, they had Beetlejuice, uh, Beetlejuice gravesite. So, you know, they had the tombstone. Here lies Beetlejuice. On the wall, it said Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Then they had the grass. They had the dirt. And then they had somebody over there. They had another Beetlejuice over there reenacting the scene where Beetlejuice came to life. At his gravesite. The horror fan that I am. And as iconic as Beetlejuice was, y'all, I was so happy. I'm so happy. But it don't stop there. You walk down a little further. They have Alice in Wonderland. So they have this big table, like it was the Last Supper. <laughs> and they had the, um, is his name the Mad Hatter? Is that his name? They asked somebody dressed up as him, and he was, you know, he was doing all the photo ops. So he was taking the photos with the people at the table. So, you know, people were posing like they were drinking tea, eating um, pastries, you know, stuff like that. It was really, it was really, really, really cute and really fun. Then go into another room. So it was like a big warehouse. Go into the other room and there, y'all. This was so cute to me. They had a big tree sculpture of a teddy bear. And they had someone dressed as Edward Scissorhands, uh, Scissorhands acting as if he was cutting the tree. Y'all know about Edward Scissorhands. Y'all know about Edward Scissorhands. So y'all know how it... Uh, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Like, it was crazy. Then they had another grave site. They had skeletons, skulls, all of that. And they will light up. They had lit candles in there. And the seats were made out of like grass material. Because that was the Edward Scissor hand section. I was like, Ugh. this girl goes all out for Halloween and I love it. I freaking love it. I just had to look up and make sure that mic was on. I was going to die if it wasn't. Um, so, you know, everybody drinking, mingling. A lot of people love my costume. So, 
They wanted to keep taking pictures with me, etc. And now we here on the mic. We got Megan and Stallion in the building. So everybody started running. Everybody started running into the other room. When she came in dancing, y'all know Meg, she's gonna have a good time. She came in dancing. She twerked with us. She thanked us for being there. Of course, we thanked her for having us. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> and she got in that mic, she told us, look, Y'all hit a party. Make sure y'all put them damn phones down to have a good time. And everybody just started going crazy. And I did get a couple of pictures of her. Didn't take any with her. Because when we had hmm, when we had our interaction where we met the last thing I was thinking about y'all was pulling my phone out. That's how people, they ruin moments. They ruin moments like that. Yeah, like, yes, this is something that you want to, you want to be able to go back and look at. But at the end of the day, memories last forever in your head. So to me, meeting her and having this conversation where she told me she loved my costume and I scared her. I, I won't forget that. So that memory is going to last forever. I may not be able to physically show people that interaction but it's gonna last here till i'm gone and i think that's more important i tell you all the time we get so caught up in these phones and trying to film these moments that we don't live in a moment and we just watch uh -huh, i ain't finna fight with them and we just watch these beautiful moments pass us by. And yeah, we can go back and look at them on the phone, but that's not the same. That's not the same. I want to be able to say I lived in this moment. I enjoyed this moment. And there were other subjects there, of course. Glorilla was there. Oh, y'all looked at Cash Dog, Offset. It was a good time. And like I said, I felt, I didn't feel threatened. I didn't feel less than, you know, being around all of them. I actually felt like I belonged. And none of them that was there when they walked past people, they were, they were making faces. Like everybody just had a good time. And so many people are like, did you get a video with her? Did you just, no. I really couldn't bring myself to do much with my camera when the fun started for real, for real. Because I just, I had to appreciate the fact that I was there. Because who knows if it'll happen again or when it'll happen again. Because it will happen again, let me claim it. Who knows when it's gonna happen again. No, I don't want to. I don't want to ruin nobody vibe. And them people that party, they already have photographers there, so pictures are already going to get taken of them regardless. I don't want to have to add to that. But, yes, I am a fan of these people, but in that moment, I felt like I was one of those people. I'm not trying to toot my horn or anything. These sucks is good. 
I ain't gonna lie, y'all, when I'm able to take off these gloves, once this video off, I'm gonna tear these, these things up. <laughs> Excuse me. Damn, excuse me. Perfect pool, perfect pool. Let's get a perfect pool, let's get a perfect pool. All right, let's see if it all come out. Come on, man. Almost. Almost. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out. I'm about to get ready to sign out. Now I don't know what I just did with that. Was this it? Yeah. If only y'all knew how hard it was, one, to eat with these, but two, to see under this damn mask. <laughs> and also breathe. Because this really is so tight on my nose. Y'all might hear me breathing a little bit harder. That's because this thing is literally pinching the hell out of my nose. What? I had to make sure y'all got a Halloween video. Oh. That's what I'm trying. Y'all know what to do? Hold on. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, right there. And bear with it. See me now if I need to have time to drop a new video, but if I'm not, if I'm second connected with Wolverine. Oh, 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 damn it. With Wolverine outside of YouTube. Go into the description box, scroll down to the bottom. Brr, boom. Right there in the video, I'm I really can't breathe on this bad shit. I'm going to take this off so fast. Oh, y'all know, y'all know. I got to get out of here. I got to get off this thing. I don't want to get off. Damn man, help me put it on. <sighs> Whew, I can breathe. Y'all can see I was sweating under there. Like, that's how tight it was. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I'm out.